You could see your breath at 3.30 this morning, but any sort of physical discomfort was forgotten in favor of the excitement ahead. Because I want to go to this inauguration. It's a very exciting event, and I would not miss it for anything. 21-year-old Jillian Rowland was among the three busloads of people bound from Burks to the Capitol. This is my first one, and this was the first major presidential election that I was able to vote in, so I wouldn't miss it for anything. I want to see what I would help to move forward by voting. Just a seat away, Robert Berger will have seen firsthand three presidents take the oath of office by day's end. Back in the Nixon days and then uh, Clinton also. But Berger's inaugural experience isn't enough to eclipse the uniqueness of what he expects to witness today. This is a, quite an event today. <laughs> first time ever. And as we neared our destination, there were some momentous moments to speak of before anyone even stepped foot in the district, like one of the quickest rides from Berks to D.C. that some of these folks have ever had. We made it here in under three hours with no major traffic to speak of on any highways around the Capitol. They've done as much as they could to get us ready for it in terms of uh, getting us our assigned routes in and where we're supposed to park. Bob Half has been driving for Elite Coach for three years now, but is the driver of one of the estimated 10,000 buses with Washington as their destination, he too was prepared for a historic trip. As long as the traffic flows, it'll be a good day. Traffic or not, just being in the mix of the mayhem is surely enough to send this bunch back with a good story to add to their own history. I will be very happy if I am even able just to get on the metro and end up somewhere in D.C. It's Washington or bust. I'm Melissa Batulis, 69 News, Burks Edition.